Hi, welcome to this video. I will show you how to connect to Kafka and Zookeeper using Docker. So here we need to create two things, one to the Zookeeper and another one is Kafka. We need two things to be connected, two services to be up. So to do that, there is some easy way, there is something called Docker Compose. What it will do, it it is used to maintain the multi-container docker like it can contain multiple containers so if you want to create a something like docker compose you can just create a file called docker compose okay and uh, this is a yaml file so it is used like this with indentations so here i have created two services if you see services and these are two services one of them is zookeeper another one is broker that is a kafka uh, like in zookeeper the image what we are going to pull is this the name what we are giving is zookeeper and the environment variable is prefixed by zookeeper underscore i'll paste the link for the confluent page the confluent is the company who is maintaining right now kafka so it is the it is the same variables which kafka and zookeeper is using it is in terms of docker you just need to prefix it with under zookeeper underscore okay so this is the client port and this is the tick time okay now for the broker the same thing it is an image and this is the container name and this is the port forwarding what we are doing outside of the docker okay so that it is accessible outside so we are just forwarding 9092 and you know that uh, like kafka to st to start the kafka it is dependent on zookeeper because zookeeper is the one who is maintaining the brokers so we'll just give the name of the container in which it is depend on so all these environment variables is same as what is present in the Kafka and since we are using with the Docker you just need to prefix by Kafka underscore. I'll just paste the link of the Confluent page so that it will become like more clear to you for all the variables. This is the broker ID so whatever ID you want to give you can give and this is the connection by which you can connect to Zookeeper. So zookeeper is exposed to port 2181 so we have given it here these are kafka listener security protocol map uh, advertise listeners this is the way to tell will how the host will be accessible to the outside client okay these are the replication factor for the offsets and these are the minimum in sync repli replicas and the replication factor like how many replication you can create okay so let's go so this is the docker compose file you can you can just create this file or copy paste the whole thing i'll place the code in the description you can just paste this code and just what you need to do docker you need to go to this particular folder So yes, we are in this folder right now. So what we will do, docker compose up in the detached mode. Now you will see, uh, since I have done it earlier, so it is it did not take much time for you. It might take a little more time, like 30 to 40 seconds. And once it started, you can just see docker ps and now these two services has been started these two containers has been started for you so zookeeper and this since uh, you have installed your zookeeper and broker into into the docker now if you want to access like if you want to use the cli to write any kafka commands what you need to do you can just do docker E execute okay broker the name of our container okay now if I am I'm creating a topic of topics okay bootstrap strp server 
okay now you need to give the name it is broker colon 9092 okay hyphen hyphen create and you need to give the name of the topic like test okay. uh, test name it's already is good okay you can just give one two three so now our topic is created so you need to use this docker exe broker till this much and this is normal like any kafka command okay that's it for this video thank you